This is a child um, with craniosynostosis. It's premature or early closure of the sutures of the skull. The sutures, or these openings that you can see here, allow for the normal growth of the skull in response to growth of the brain. If one of those sutures or more um, close too early, then the skull has an abnormal shape. In this particular instance, the suture along the top here is missing. Uh, and you can see this is uh, the sagittal suture, and you can see that it's closed prematurely as compared to these other sutures, and that has resulted in elongation of the skull. Uh, this skull model uh, makes the diagnosis of that problem um, not only uh, much easier, but very absolute. Uh, it also gives the neurosurgeon an advantage to have this with them um, when they plan their surgery and also when they explain to the parents what's wrong with the child. Um, so the ability to literally hold the, this child's skull in my hand and have it be an exact duplicate um, is a tremendous advantage for me in making a diagnosis. It's a phenomenal advantage for a neurosurgeon who's planning surgery and also trying to explain um, what's wrong with a child.